Hi, movies recapped here. Faster. The first scene of the Faster film starts at the location of the prison, where the main character named Driver is taken to the officer by policeman after releasing him. Officer says to him, "You stayed here without getting in any trouble." Then he says, "I hope that you are leaving this darkness behind." Then he asks, "Do you have any questions?" The driver replies, "Where is the exit?" It is revealed here that driver has been imprisoned for the last 10 years but he is released now coming out from prison the driver reaches a junkyard while running there are damaged cars uncovering a cloth on a repaired car he drives it off that car has some documents papers and photos then he sees a photo of his brother who has been murdered it is also known here that driver's purpose is to take revenge on his brother's killer one by one He directs his car towards an office in Bakersfield thinking it and going there he murders an employee of the office office workers begin screaming from inside and it is recorded by a CCTV camera after a while the investigation team arrives there cop and detective handle this case then drive is shown at that place of a person who has handed him over a car and gun the news channel is broadcasting the same news as an employee he was executed in the Bakersfield The murderer was 30 years old and his height was 6 feet and 5 inches. But the police kept secret the name of the victim. Driver gives him payment. That person asks, "Where did you smuggle a large amount of money in the imprisonment?" Driver replies on it, "Mind your own business." That person demands more money from driver when driver asks him to give the list of his brother's killer. He tells, "I struggled for 10 years to get this list." Driver loses his temperament as a result. That person gives him that list in fear. A location of the house is shown where a new character who is a killer comes on the scene. In the beginning, he is shown exercising. It is revealed here that he has been a winner of many challenges after accepting them. There is also his friend Lily. He says to her, "It is time to move on." Afterwards, killer receives a call through which it is told to him as there is a client for you. Because you like being challenged, you will be informed about the location. That client is fearful thinking as the target is after him with the pursuit to kill him. And he says, does it as soon as possible. That killer is given the challenge to kill driver. After that, the photo of the driver is sent to the killer's mobile. The killer leaves in his car, taking his guns. The driver is shown here. Driver moves to the listed name of an old man named Tyson. He stops his car from going near his building. The killer also reaches there while identifying the location. Killer pursues driver, noticing him to go inside. Thinking the murder of his brother, driver is got emotional and kills that old man Tyson shooting on his forehead as he enters the room. Reaching there, killer is nearly to fire his gun on driver. But a little girl comes on the way. The driver is getting worried because of that little girl. Driver starts firing his gun on the killer after pushing that little girl aside. He leaves in his car hurriedly. The killer cannot target him. On the other side, a female detective plays an old video of a cop in which shooter driver's brother has been killed. Now they both discover the past of driver. Then they come to know that driver was double crossed. He is alone having no gang. Then the bank robbery video is played. How had driver's brother taken the lift in driver's car after robbing the bank? Later, they were captured by another gang. The other gang then had asked for the money from them. Driver requests them, "Don't shoot my brother." Driver's brother continuously advises him to not reveal anything before them but driver tells worrying his brother that money is under the floorboard of kitchen in spite of it driver's brother is killed cutting his throat driver shouts no no but he cannot do anything his brother is dead in front of his eyes and old man tyson asks him to smile before the camera while making a video driver says to him angrily i will kill all of you Driver will go after the people in this video that wanted to take his life and lost his father as per the detective. Meanwhile, cop and detective receive word that Tyson has been murdered. They show up instantly. It is revealed that a fight happened between two persons with one of the people firing a gun. Both of them then disappeared. Then it is shown that driver reaches motel. He is watching the news and learning about the murder he committed. Driver leaves taking his car in the morning time. He reaches in front of a lady's house. That lady is with her baby inside the house. That lady is his. 
long term friend he enters there taking his gun and glimpses a frame photo that lady takes the frame coming near him and slaps her she asks why have you come here why did you stop me to visit the prison then she tells driver i have built a new relationship driver leaves that place hearing it now the next target of driver is nixon who is in the strip club driver instantly reaches the strip club where the number of people are standing there nixon is also there and he is actually the same person who had cut his brother's throat putting him to death driver goes inside without a gun because there is a strict checking on the entrance going inside driver takes a tool like a screw driver and he reaches the place of nixon nixon says him after seeing i was expecting your arrival that person is afraid after seeing driver but later takes out his knife to kill driver the fight is held between them afterward driver stabs him with that tool leaving him injured driver takes nixon dead but he had some breath he is taken to hospital as driver leaves the next day it is revealed that the killer and the cop along with the detective are on their missions cop calls his partner detective who tells him that their victims had already aware and says i need your follow up the cop tells have you heard that nixon has been stabbed then cop reaches the place of surgery where injured nixon is being treated on the opposite side killer knows that he can find driver in a hospital because he has missed his third target driver will go there to end him and it is correct driver reaches the hospital where his brother's killer is present he steps into the special care unit where he is being operated Doctors and nurses are frightened. Driver kills that man bringing his gun out while firing. Then he leaves the place. All people are dispersed there hearing the sound of guns. Being alerted, cop pursues him, taking his gun and finally starts firing on him. There is incessant firing. Cop advances while driver defends himself. Suddenly, cop's gun is dropped down as driver points him gun coming in front of him. Cop kneels down, closing his eyes. but driver does not shoot him glimpsing his badge because it is not part of his plan driver has left so cop does find him as he opens his eyes driver leaves driving his car speedily then it appears that the killer is chasing him killer pursues him driving his car speedily at last both cars stop at a place driver fires his gun on the car wheel of killer while driver receives a gunshot on his neck fired by the killer and his neck bleeds Driver runs his car away quickly. Killer receives a call and a man says to him, "The client wanted the accomplishment of this task soon, and he wants as you should quit the task if you don't want to accomplish it." Killer replies, "I want to do it." Driver's neck is bleeding because of receiving the gunshot. He reaches the house of his mother, suffering this wound. He searches out his father there. Then he comes to know that his father passed away 3 to 4 years ago. Then driver's mother stitches the wound of a gun shot on his neck. She asks, "When have you been released from prison?" Driver replies, "Couple of days." It is also revealed here that driver visits here to kill his father. His mother says, "Can you think that a father makes his son killed? He loved your brother so much. It is also truth that you are innocent. I apologize for not protecting you." And she starts weeping. Driver says, "He was only my brother who used to care for me." His mother says on it, "Why did he involve you in this matter? Why did you become a part of it?" Driver says, "I willingly lifted them when his driver left. He had taken money from corrupted people. He needed me." Saying it, he leaves. The next day, driver stops his car at the roadside. He turns on the radio where a person is speaking out on a channel. Hate is like a chain around your neck. It takes you to a place which is not according to your will. It drags you into the darkness and loneliness, enslaving you. It only leads you towards your destruction. You must be freed from it. Now it is known here that the last man is Evangelist Alexander. Hearing him through radio, driver reaches the place where he is interpreting a sermon. Evangelist recognizes him seeing him where driver goes. Driver and Evangelist converse with each other coming into an open area. Evangelist begins to disclose the reality. He tells him I was just guarding the door where my brother was killed. But I had started yelling, "No!" when they cut that boy's neck. The sufferer was my brother, says the officer. That man says, "I can't send him back, but he worries it in his heart. I have devoted my life to the author. I know Satan has twisted your heart, inserting revenge and hostility." He says, 
Creator is beneficent and can probe into your soul. Driver says, your sermon is over. Evangelist sermoner apologizes to him. But driver replies, I cannot forgive. Driver catches the sight of flying birds in the sky while evangelist is continuously praying. Then driver fires his gun but that gun firing is into the air. He spares his life. He says to him, go back to your family. It comes to the knowledge that evangelist's life has been spared after forgiving him. Having a look at his brother's photo in a church, driver places it with the pistol on the table. Reaching there after a while, the killer points his gun at driver. Cop observes the cars of driver and killer outside while passing the outside area. After that, he receives the call of detective and informs her as both are here. She is surprised. Detective asks her to wait for her but cop says, I want to keep myself in a flow. He begins to move inside the church, taking his pistol. The killer is saying to driver inside, I am struggling to kill you for the last many days. And you are not taking a step against me. It means you are taking it as fun. Driver asks, what do you want from me? He replies, professional courtesy. Pick up the gun so we may test our skills. But driver refuses. Driver says, you are facing issues. Picking up the gun of driver, killer is about to kill him. And he says, the person who hired me is still alive. You just talk and thinking the accomplishment of your act. Meanwhile, cop arrives there. He orders the killer, drops the gun. Don't move. As killer places his gun on the chair, meanwhile, cop shoots at the head of driver. Killer says to cop, you are a person who had hired me to kill driver. Why did you hire me? Cop replies, I involved when you did not kill him, before it, he came and put me into the death. Killer says you were out of his list. The cop tells, I know because he did not kill me in the hospital seeing me. And he informs, she was his brother's friend who is my wife and was delivering the information to me. He is the same person who had made driver his target before, shooting on his head. Killer moves outside and refuses to take money given by cop. He says, never try to contact me again. And he leaves. In the same way, the detective looks at the list of the murderer's names and photos. Cop's photo is also printed there. And she is left astonished and says to an official member, don't flip this case. On the other side, cop says, I have closed this case while calling his family. Don't bother, I will be at the house within a couple hours. Everything is over. Meanwhile, driver shoots him coming from his backside. The driver has been found. The cop asks, how are you alive? As he is dying, driver shows him a metal that was transplanted in the back of his head. I made my own hell, says the cop. The cop is murdered when the driver fires his gun again at him. Whenever the detective arrives at the place, he discovers cop's body. Except for evangelist Alexander, driver has killed all of the offenders of his brother's murder. Because he had asked forgiveness. In the end, driver washes his brother's ashes out in the sea. Because he has avenged his brother's death. Contrarily, evangelist Alexander is shown who is making his sermon on forgiveness. The movie comes to an end here. I hope you like the explanation and movie also. Please subscribe for more movies explanation.